Hello everyone, I am the Meditator Kirby, and welcome to my channel, The Commander Tyrant. The Commander Tyrant is a channel dedicated to my favorite Magic the Gathering format. On this episode of Barkeep Upkeep, I'm going to present a way for those interested in participating in a Commander Boxing League but don't have the funds for it. So if you want to see a quick, easy, and free way to start a Commander Boxing League, this episode's for you. But before getting to the video, if you want to support the channel, you can do so by purchasing your cards through my TCG Player affiliate link. However, a more significant way of supporting the channel is through my Patreon. For just $1 a month, you get early access to scheduled videos and higher tier patrons get access to the VIP section of my Discord server as well. You can find a link to everything down in the description. Alright, let's get back to the episode. First off, what's a Commander Boxing League? Sheldon Menry wrote an article explaining it which I'll link to it in the description. Here's an excerpt from it though. To summarize, a Commander Boxing League is a sealed way of playing Commander. You start with a booster box of any set you want but with a few restrictions. The booster box can't be a reprinted set, a specialty set, or a silver boarded set. It also can't be specialty boosters, so it has to be a booster box of draft packs. From there, you start your pool of cards to build your bona fide commander deck, meaning a 100 card singleton following the commander color identity and current ban list. Then, each week you add 6 booster packs from a set to your choosing to your card pool, following the same restrictions as the booster box you started with. However, you can't choose the same set twice, so if your first box with a Coria, you can't choose 6 booster packs from a Coria for your following week. If you chose Throne of Aldrain for that week's 6 packs, you can't choose Akoria nor Throne of Aldrain for the following week. If you chose Zendikar Rising for that third week, you can't repeat it, and so forth. However, Sheldon Menry did update the initial box choice ruling on the Rules Committee's Discord server. If everyone participating in the league agrees, then everyone can use a box of Commander Legends as their initial booster box to start the league. However, this can only be done if everyone is in agreement and everyone in the league starts with one. This is the only exception to the specialty set rule. In fact, this is how I have it set up for my own Commander Boxing League over on my Discord server. So if you want to participate in a Commander Boxing League for absolutely free, since it will be digital and online, feel free to join my Discord server if you haven't already, and sign up. The Commander Tavern Commander Boxing League begins at the end of the first week of December, so sign up while you can. In any case, for those wishing to start a league normally, you can choose any booster box as previously mentioned. If that's the case, let me show you how it's done. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to draft.info, that is dr4ft.info, and then you're going to create a room. You can name it whatever you want, it's fine. The important thing is that it has to say sealed, one player, private, and regular. Now unfortunately, you can only choose up to 12 packs. Now a booster box contains 36 packs, uh, Commander Legends booster box contains 24 packs, but we'll see that in a moment. So let's say you want your first booster box to be Ikoria Lair of Behemoths. So you choose 12 from the drop down menu of the of the commander pack. So for example, if the booster pack is Kaladesh or whatever, you could choose that. Now the fastest way to do this is to choose one, like I did, choose the pack you want. Let's say for example you want a Zendikar Rising, then when you hit 12, all of them are Zendikar Rising. But in this case, I want to go for Ikoria, so I'll choose Ikoria Lair of Behemoths. And then those will be my 12 packs. Now why 12? I will have to do this three more times. So let's just see how simple it is to do this. So we'll hit create. And then notice here, um, you could choose the settings you want in order to see the cards. But basically we'll hit start game. And here are the 12 packs already open. Now notice you're seeing all the cards here. Now we're not done because this is only one third of the box. So here we have all of this. So what we do is we go to copy deck to clipboard. And then you choose uh, any notepad, uh, in this case, well, notepad. And make sure you erase the word that says sideboard. And then what you do is you just do it all over again. So I will hit back, create the room again. Again, 12 packs of Aquaria Layer of Behemoths, I'll create that. I'll start the game. Notice again, here is the other third of my box. I'm going to copy deck to clipboard, and then in the same file, you're going to copy that, just very quickly look for the sideboard, erase that, and then let's do it one final time. Alright, and then finally we have this here. And then once more we copy the clipboard, and then we paste it here. Alright, so here we are, one final time we get rid of the sideboard work. All right, so what do we do with this list? Well, a lot of people use Moxfield or Cockatrice to, to, to build their decks. Let's just use Moxfield so we can do everything online. 
All right, so here we have Mox Field. I'll just build a new deck. Let's just call it a uh, Boxing League Demo. All right, so we don't know the commander yet, but we are going to paste in the list everything we had from our entire file. So again, we control all, we copy it. Then we paste it here. Here we have all of our pool from that box of Akoria that we opened. All right, so notice here, we have 550 main board because we have 550 cards, and then here you just build your deck. So let's look at the multicolor legend, right, first, because we want to be able to play as many colors as possible. So I saw Gigantha. So let's say Gigantha is going to be my commander. So I'm going to keep Gigantha. And then I just build my deck. So let me just very quickly build the deck and then answer the power of video editing. We're going to see this done very fast. Alright, so I just very quickly made this mutate deck with Gigantha at the helm, so that would allow me to run basically every color. I'm not really going to get into the deck because I just pretty much made this super quick, just as a proof of concept. And then the commander I have to pick would be Gigantha. Alright, so if we wanted to play with this deck, what would we have to do? Well, here, right, we can export it for MTGO if you're going to play an MTGO or in this case if we want it to be completely free we can use Cockatrice. So you go to bulk edit and then you copy your main board and then you go to Cockatrice and then in deck editor you load from clipboard and then here is your 
deck. Notice that Gigantha is in here because Gigantha is the commander. So you can add Gigantha in your sideboard. And that's it. And then you save this deck and you can play it on Cockatrice. And that's pretty much it. That's how it goes. If you want to see how we are doing it for my Discord server per se, there is a specific video just for the, the members in the Discord to show how it is that we're going to be doing it since we're going to be using the Commander, Bo Commander Legends as our first booster box. Now, let's say a week passed. How would we do it if a week passed? Well, we go back. Let's say that since I have Gigantha, I have pretty solid deck, so I'm using Mutate. So let's just say I just want to add some powerful cards. Well, there are no more powerful cards than maybe Ursa's Legacy or Ursa's Saga. So I could choose Ursa's Saga. Let's choose my six pack from Ursa's Saga. So I started the game. Oh, <laughs> we got a guy as Cradle already. Great. All right, so notice right here the cards we picked. So we just copy deck to clipboard. And then we can go here and paste it. Removing the sideboard. And then what we do is we copy this right here where we were. And then we add these to the sideboard. And these are now a part of our pool. So we save and continue editing. So now we go back to our deck. And now in our sideboard, we have all those new cards that we just got. So if you want to make any changes, we're able to do so. For example, here's the Winding Worm. The Guidus Cradle should be somewhere over here. And that's basically it. Here's the Guidus Cradle, right? And that is how you basically are able to use these resources to play a uh, Commander Boxing League for free if, if that's your reality. And that's pretty much it. To all you viewers, I hope this video has been helpful in making it easier for you to play Commander Boxing League without having to buy packs, but also play it online due to the current global situation. If you're interested in participating in a league but don't have a large enough pod for it, head over to my Discord server and just join mine. Everyone can join and the details of the league are in the Discord server. As mentioned in the beginning of the video, the links to my Discord server is down in the description. I would like to thank all my patrons for supporting me and a quick shout out to all my higher tier patrons, the Brewers, for their patronage. I'd also like to thank anyone using my TCG Player affiliate link. That also helps out the channel. And to everyone, thanks for watching this episode of